So guys, there are 17 legendary schematics in Power World which you can go out and farm. And in today's video guys, I bring you a complete guide on where you can go, what you can do and how you can get every schematic, every legendary that Power World offers. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of Power World. So to win one for yourself or for a friend, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Good luck. So yes, there are 17 legendary schematics in this game. We've got the old bow, the cloth outfit, the feathered hairband, the power armor, crossbow metal armor, metal helm, handgun, refined metal armor, heat resistant refined metal armor, cold resistant refined metal armor, the pump action shotgun, the assault rifle, the power metal helmet, the heat resistant power metal armor, the cold resistant power metal armor, and then we have the rocket launcher. So 17 in total guys. Now these ain't exclusive to said world bosses that we're going to talk about today. I mean you can have a chance of getting them in those higher tier chests too. But today we'll concentrate on a certain individual world bosses that if you farm these have a better chance of dropping these said legendary schematics. So let's go guys and we'll start with level order. So from the lowest world boss order up to the highest leveled world boss. So from Chile who's a level 11 all the way up to Jet Dragon who's a level 50. So let's go guys. Okay so first up we have the legendary cloth outfit schematic. This drops from Chilit who is a level 11 who you can see on the map right here guys. Open world world boss by the way coordinates are 173 and minus 418. Now this Chilit, uh, this pal is weak against fire so if you plan on coming here and farming this world boss Fire pals are your best friend here. It doesn't matter, by the way, guys, if you kill said world boss or capture them. I think the drop chances of said schematics are equal. So, yes, do what you got to do with this one. Okay, so next up, guys, we have Penking, who is a level 15. And this world boss drops the feathered hairband legendary schematic. Now, Penking being a water type pal is obviously a weak against electric element pals. So bring those electric pals, guys, to have the best chance against farming this guy. Again, he's only a level 15, though. But if you are a lower level, you got to do what you got to do. So Penking, you can see right here, guys, this is where it's located from the sealed realm of the frozen wings. Coordinates are 114 and minus 352. So come here and do what you got to do, people. Next up we have Azorob or Azorobi, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but this world boss who is a level 17 drops the power armor legendary schematic. Location you can see it on screen now, this is an open world boss, coordinates are a minus 53 to a minus 388. Now this world boss is weak against those electric and ice type powers guys, so do what you gotta do here to farm this world boss. Okay, so next up we have King Paka, who is a level 23. He drops the bow legendary schematic. Now, King Paka can be found right here on the map, people. He is an open world boss, uh, coordinates are 50 to a minus 460. Now, King Paka is weak against those dark type powers, so do keep that in mind. Next up, people, we have Bushy. Bushy is a level 23 world boss, and Bushy uh, drops the legendary crossbow schematic. Now, Bushy is weak to those water element pals, and Bushy's location you can see right here on the map, people, the sealed realm of the sword master. Coordinates are a minus 116 to a minus 491. Next up guys we have Beacon who is a level 29 world boss. Now it's found in the open world is Beacon and it's a coordinates at a minus 345 to a minus 253. So Beacon drops the legendary handgun schematic and Beacon being an electric type bird is weak against those ground element powers. So do what you gotta do here people. Next up guys we have Warset. Warset being a level 30 world boss boss so warsect will drop you that legendary metal helm schematic warsect is also weak to that fire so bring those fire powers when you come to farm warsect now warsect is found within the sealed realm of the stalwart which you're seeing on screen right now guys coordinates are 161 to a minus 224 
And next up we have Elizabe. Elizabe drops the legendary metal armor schematic. Elizabe can found within the Devout's mineshaft located right here on the map. Coordinates are a 32 to a minus 138. So come here guys and do what you gotta do. Elizabe is obviously weak against those fire type powers. So if you have any of them and you plan on farming her to get this legendary schematic, you know what you gotta do. Next up guys we have Menesting, now Menesting is obviously a dark power so he's weak against those dragon or grass element powers so if you plan on farming this dude you can expect eventually to get drop the legendary refined metal helm schematic. So this world boss can be located right here on the map within the desiccated mine shaft here the coordinates here are 494 to 82 so come here guys and do what you gotta do. Next up guys we have Suzaku who is a level 45 world boss who drops the legendary pump action shotgun. This world boss obviously being that fire type is weak against those water type powers so do what you gotta do here guys. Now this is an open world boss where the coordinates are 404 to a 255 so come here and do what you gotta do. Next up we have Astagon who drops the heat resistant refined metal armor legendary schematic. Now Astagon is a level 48 world boss, he's weak to those dragon type powers and his coordinates guys you can see right here on the map you have to come to the destroyed mine shaft. Kind of a tricky place to find your way into but follow where I go on screen now. The coordinates here are minus 578 to a minus 418. And be prepared when you come up to these higher leveled areas guys, you will need those resistant armors, heat within the day most of the time and cold at night or vice versa people so yes do what you gotta do here. Next up we have a Lily Knot who is a level 49 world boss. This world boss drops a cold resistant refined metal armor legendary schematic and Lily Knot obviously being weak against dragon element powers. So do what you gotta do here guys. Lily Knot is found within the iceberg mine shaft up in this very cold area so that cold resistant armor is definitely needed. Coordinates are minus 142 2A322. Next up guys we have Blazer Mutt who is a level 49 world boss. Uh, this world boss drops the legendary assault rifle schematic, one of the best weapons in this game. Blazer Mutt being a fire type power is weak against that water obviously. You will need that heat resistant armor in these areas guys, a very very hot indeed. Now Blazer Mutt is found within uh, the scorching mine shaft seen right here on the map. Uh, coordinates are uh, minus 434 to a minus 532 so do what you gotta do here. Next up we have Frost Stallion. Frost Stallion is a legendary world boss at a level 50. Uh, this world boss drops the legendary power metal helmet schematic. Now Frost Stallion being an ice type pal is in the ice type area. Very very cold. It's open world boss style. Coordinates are a minus 357 to a 509. Again ice type power weak against that fire element type power guys. So bring those fire powers with you and do what you gotta do here. Next up we have the twins, we have Necromus and Palladius, both of these are legendary bosses, both are found in the same uh, area. The coordinates are a 447 to a 679, these are open world bosses by the way guys, no dungeons or minecraft, you have to explore to find these. Again they are together so 9 times out of 10 you will have to fight them both at the same time. Uh, so Necromus is weak against dragon type powers and Palladius is weak against dark type powers. Uh, Necromus drops the heat resistant power metal arm whereas Palladius drops the cold resistant power metal armor so do what you gotta do up here guys remember this is a hot area so bring that heat resistant armor but at night time it goes freezing so you're gonna need that cold resistant armor too if you're fighting these all day and night Okay, so lastly on today's list, we have Jet Dragon, who is the last and fourth legendary boss in PAL World. This PAL drops the legendary rocket launcher schematic. His coordinates you can see on the screen now, it's open world boss, it's minus 789 and a minus 322. Now Jet Dragon is weak against those ice element powers, so do what you gotta do. He is a hard fight though, I won't lie to you. 
But yes, once you get this done, and once you get it down, that strat down, you can farm this boss. Or you may get lucky first try, but he drops that rocket launcher legendary schematic, which is an absolute monster of a weapon. Just don't shoot it in your base. But there we have it, guys. All 17 legendary schematics within the world of Power World. And this is how you get them. One well, of the best ways to farm them anyway. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.